Hello, and thank you for your interest in Decipher Text Message. This is a little video to show you how to get started using Decipher Text Message and show you some of the different features that might be helpful while you're looking through your text messages. So as you can see, I've started this video right at the end of the process of uh, installing Decipher Text Message. So I'm going to click Finish. And then you can either launch Decipher Text Message from the little desktop icon that installs with the installer, or it will be in your Start menu. So I'm going to click the little desktop start uh, button and when the program initially starts up it will start loading your backups uh, from the directory that iTunes makes the backups in and you can sort of see in this little backups window it shows you where that is and it will show you all the different devices that are backed up in iTunes and the date of their last backup as well as the version number uh, of the OS for that device. So once we have the backups loaded uh, we have the main decipher text message window which shows you a list of all the different devices that have been synced with decipher text message in the past uh, and if you click on one of those then you'll see a list of all the different contacts that you've been communicating with uh, via text message if you have contact information for that person in your iphone address book you'll see the actual contact information and their picture the way it is on your iphone so I'm going to click on one of my contacts and then you can see a little history of all the text messages that have been going on between you and that person sort of in the same kind of style that you see it on your iPhone. Additionally you can see that if you have any MMS attachments like photos or videos you can click on those and then it will launch in sort of the default application whatever you're used to viewing videos or pictures or whatever on your Windows machine uh, just like that. I can also show you if we scroll down to the bottom if we have a video attachment instead of a, a image attachment if we click on that then it will launch whatever my default player is for that video and in my case I have uh, QuickTime for Windows and if I hit play we can see a little video of my dog. It's very cute and trying to sit down and kind of failing. Additionally not only can we view the text messages and attachments inside of the software we can also do things like let's get some good text here we can copy it to the clipboard we can also save uh, entire conversations or all the conversations on the device and it will be saved as a little archive of an HTML document along with all of the attachments so if I save this on my desktop drag that over to the window so I have a little conversation between my iPhone 4, the device, and the recipient. And inside of that folder are all of the attachments, as well as an HTML document showing the conversation between myself and the recipient. You can, of course, also print, and there are some other functionalities for sorting the recipients by name or by the date of the last conversation. So I hope this was helpful in getting you started using Decipher Text Message. Of course, if you have any questions, you're always welcome to email us at info at decipher-media.com. Thank you.